Do you need something? Let's build it! So I epoxied the entire boat. I glued in the new parts. As you saw, I sanded everything before I epoxy coated it, so the epoxy can stick to the new parts. I used some stringers here just to line everything. Just simply clamp down, it's, they are covered in tape, so they will release easier afterwards. Used some clamps to hold everything in position. And a little bit of improvisation. It doesn't exactly stay here like it should. Maybe I have to use some form of clamp. I don't know how to attach them, but I'll figure out. And I also joined together the deck panels. So just thought while I was mixing the epoxy, like, you know, I, I'm gonna need it like in three or four days and I can do it like right now. Work that's done, it's done. What's also done is the final capping of the daggerboard casing and this little must step that I actually don't really know what it is doing. Have to look in the instructions what they say. The mast cap that belongs on top of there that I just showed you is just for like uh, additional strength in the mast step. You actually have to cut this open uh, as soon as you put the deck on it because there are no holes in the deck which absolutely makes sense. Um, so it's just for more strength in the boat. Yep, so next step will be to add the deck stiffness which I already glued together like at the very beginning and to put in the aft masts, aft deck support should be this one which goes like in here. Yeah, when that's done, oh and of course putting uh, the cap onto there and when that's done I already can flip the boat over again and start sanding from the underneath. Nice. It's the next morning, everything has dried, looking very good, no bubbles, no nothing. Um, so next step is to epoxy fill out the gaps alongside everything um, and applying fiberglass to the deck, which I already started cutting. Um, but before I can do all of this, I have to sand like a lot.
eternity later. That's what brown hair looks like after three hours of sanding. But everything's sanded, every surface in the boat. But I'm actually running a little bit out of time. So what I'm going to do today is epoxying the deck panel, the, uh, the fiberglass to the deck panel and maybe clean a little, little bit everything up because it's just dusty as shit. And then tomorrow is Sunday so I cannot make too much noise. So I am going to fill in all the gaps, everything with thickened epoxy like here, like I said, um, tomorrow. I really am going to have to mix a lot of epoxy to wet all of this fiberglass. It's actually my own fiberglass, not a delivered fiberglass that came with the kit because I have like a little bit heavier fiberglass. I hope this will give it a little bit more stability because I hate weak decks that you cannot walk on. Um, and also I don't know if the fiberglass that came with the kit will be enough for the rest of the boat because I don't know how they cut it and I just cut it like very sparely. And I want this thin fiberglass to go over the hull of the boat because the thick fiberglass that I have here is not able to like fit onto tight corners. Um, and also I'm going to use other epoxy um, because I again am not sure if the epoxy that came with the kit will be enough afterwards. And this is like a slow hardening epoxy that needs this one that needs like two days to dry and for this it's just not a problem because I can leave this here for the next week if I want. Um, just quickly having a look. I have like quite a big reservoir of stuff. Huge. Yeah, and also this liberates me from using these pumps to mix it because you need quite a lot of pressure on here to pump and if you need like, I don't know, 20 pumps or something to cover all of this fiberglass, you are just going not to want to do this with the pump because it's quite a lot of work and I don't like work. That's why I build a boat, I guess. So all of the fiberglass is wetted out with epoxy, it's nice and shiny, no not shiny, like you can see through. If you wet out fiberglass and it looks something like a little bit still white tish, like it looks here in this space, there's something not good because you did not wet out the fiberglass enough. So it should be like, so you can see through right on the wood and not able to see too much of the fiberglass anymore. The space I just showed you, like right here, is where the two fiber uh, parts of fiberglass overlap. That's why it's a little bit more whitey, but it's, it's actually saturated out. I used a spatula to just like squish everything around. And then I used my hands with gloves to really make sure that um, the fiberglass is completely saturated and completely wet out. I had some epoxy uh, left, so I also coated the deck stiffeners and the aft deck stiffener over there. Um, so I can put them into the boat and I do not have to coat them afterwards because when I coat them like here in the boat, the epoxy will just be dripping down and making mess down there. So I coat everything now before I put it in. But that's it for today, so tomorrow I'm going to fill everything in the boat, like make all the corners filled with thickened epoxy and so on. 
Well, this you will see in the next episode. That's it for this weekend. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next week. Bye bye.